Can we just take a moment to talk about how underrated of an animal Acrocanthosaurus atticensis is? It's in the top 10 biggest megatheropods known to science and has a small dorsal neural sail, which is just awesome. The creature has absolutely wicked jaws and was the apex predator in early Cretaceous North America millions of years before the Tyrannosaurus came to town and broke records like an Avengers movie. Acrocanthosaurus topped out at just under 12 meters and over 6,000 kilograms according to graphic double integration, making it essentially a really big elephant, if the elephant was instead a sail back to Carcharodontosaurid with claws like fish hooks. That is one of the coolest sentences ever to grace my mouth. Acrocanthosaurus was described in 1950, which was also the beginning of the Korean War. The two events probably weren't related. According to Demik, Melstrom, and Eddy 2012, Acrocanthosaurus matured to anywhere between 12 and 24 years of age, depending on how deformed the growth lines were in the specimens. One of the coolest things about Acrocanthosaurus is that Center and Robbins 2005 performed a very in-depth study of its arm structure and predatory capabilities. The study showed us the flexing range of theropod dinosaurs and how they weren't really capable of flailing like a grizzly bear in a fight. But Acrocanthosaurus likely did use its arms like hooked vises, and ripped massive wounds in the sides of victims when they tried to escape. Endocasts of Acrocanthosaurus, from Franoza and Roni 2005, show that the North American beast possessed highly developed olfactory bulbs. So not only was it gigantic, intimidatingly designed, and viciously equipped, but it could track you from unnerving distances. Have fun celebrating Acrocanthosaurus Appreciation Day! Hit those subscribe and like buttons, and head over to the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividen out.